Hello everybody, it's a me, unfriendly porcupine, and today, do you like cannons? Because you're gonna like this review! <laughs> it is the Assassin's Creed's cannon set! Now the only reason I like cannons is when they're not fired at me, and when I get to fire the cannons at you, or at them. Ah, uh. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is the box of the set that I am reviewing today. The Assassin's Creed Cannon Strike. Here's the front. Here's the back of the box. Now, I want to point some things out. Over here you can see this is a named figure. His name is Arno Dorian. I also really like just the aesthetics overall. The accessory displayed, this set right here, the CGI over here. It's very nice. Side over... Oh, that's who's there! Well, let the review begin with the main attraction, the cannon! The thing that's in the cannon strike! Wah! The cannon strikes, let's see this figure, <laughs> see the cannon strike this figure! <laughs> okay, figure, figure standing, cannon strike! <laughs> okay, for real. What's super awesome about this cannon? Well, it's a cannon on wheels! So the wheels perfectly spin very well, and here you can see the exact color that is used. Now, this color is not speckled, but I think the not speckle actually works because it's trying to simulate a more wooden part. What would be an epic fail is if the cannon wasn't speckled, which thankfully it actually is speckled. And it's a very very good color. See? Excellent. I also like the shine that they did on it. The metal parts over there. The nice little blue undertone, which you can also swap out with all sorts of different colors. Let's say if you want it red, if you want it green, especially if you're building like team building stuff. You have the blue cannon, the blue cannon fires. Pew, pew. Then you have the red cannon with the red team. Pew, pew, pew. Then the green one or the yellow one or the purple one, whichever one you want. Which is super duper cool. Also, the super cool feature about the cannon is if you pull it, you can actually shoot. This little thing right here is not a button, it's just a stud for, let's say, our main figure to stand on. So if you want the figure running over, just like how the figure was doing on the box art, well there you go, now the figure can run. So if you want the figure to run up the cannon... <laughs> yeah. Also, you're probably wondering, what is this thing right here on the back? Well, this thing is specifically done to clean the cannon. So you clean the cannon to make sure you get it prepared, to actually fire up one of these pieces, which is what the terrain is all about. This right here is the terrain. You can see right here, here are your ammo or the cannon balls that you use. Well, they're not really balls, but they work and it doesn't matter. These are the pieces, you get six of them, so you get six. Just in case if you miss once, you get five more tries to try, unless you want to put them back on again. The base play as it is, it's very nice that we actually get a base play and something like to legit make it playable. Also you get a barrel over here which you can use to store some accessories. For example, Arno Dorian's weave, you can just stuff it in there. Flintlock pistol can also go in there. How about this super cool unique crossbow thingy, which can also go in there. You can also store this sword in there, so technically this kinda acts like a little care package. Plus, the aesthetics overall look nice, but I would have loved that they threw in like a treasure chest or something like a big crate, you know, because I really like care packages, making it very easy for me to not lose things. Here, oh no, I just lost everything. <laughs> but yeah, that's if you play rough or if you just attach everything to the figure, hopefully you won't lose everything except the extra hair. So, yeah, it works. Anyways, let me show you how this thing fires. So, let's go ahead and just, um, let's see. Ah, perfect. We'll... Arno Dorian, you will be the figure that used for test dummy. Okay, so, well, well, let's be just at least a little fair. Let's give him a flintlock pistol, so at least he has some way of being able to defend himself, even though he's not going to because he's not real. <laughs> okay, anyways, so how does it work? You go ahead and you flip this thing around, and this is how it works. You take your cannonball, you place it right in there, and there you go. Look how nice that looks. Now that you have your ammo loaded up, now it's time to shoot Arno Dorian. Okay, Arno Dorian, are you ready? Here comes the cannonball. There he goes, and that's how you fire. So you want to reload one more time? And here, let's take another shot. 
yeah, it doesn't knock the figures back, but it does have that excellent playability feature. Also, just one more thing, make sure you place it in with the whole part over there, and not the other way around, because otherwise it kind of pokes out a little bit. I mean, you can do this too, but you have to be more gentle, and it doesn't fire as well. Versus if you place it in the hole like that, it looks better and it fires better. You know, I just blast it one last time to kind of show you a little bit of the distance you can get. So yeah, it can go roughly about like 5 feet, 5-4 feet roughly about there, but usually 3-4. to four. All right, enough of that, let us start talking about the figure. And here is Arno Dorian, the main figure of this set. So, what does Arno Dorian come with? He comes with this excellent blue turquoise kind of color. It's kind of like a not super strong blue, like a soft blue. It's an excellent color overall. You also get this part painted right over here. So excellent paint applications overall making the figure look nice. Of course with this vest it tries to simulate that this figure actually is wearing a coat. And it works pretty well only if they painted the side parts to really make it feel like a coat. But then if you want to take it off, then it kind of looks weird, and then that's more paint implications, and then eh, it's going to be too much cost expensive, I guess. Then over here, if we zoom in closer to the vest, you can see right here, well, yeah, excellent paint application, the chest right here with the mold, that thing is painted, there's actual molding in there, which actually looks really good. There you go, you can see it in much more better detail. Let's take off Arno Dorian's head, let's take off the vest, which comes off very nicely like this, and you can really see that's exactly what the mold that they use. And also, this thing right here that I took off, this is actually like the little underneath Assassin's Creed thing. So like, often Assassin's Creed, they have like the little knife that's underneath their wrist, but now you can have this, you can have a crossbow, which is super tough. And clearly, I think you can tell by now, I haven't played the game, so I'm just reviewing it as it is. Here's how you attach it. You just slide it in, and there you go it's attached and now you can you can pretend this thing right here is a nice rubber material boink boink moving on to the head you can actually see the head right here I'll take off his hood so you can see it much more better because yes the hood is actually take offable and there you go that's how the head mold looks like and if you're wondering yes I'm not going to forget about Arno Dorian's weave you can just place that weave on there and there you go the hair piece looks very nice Yay, Arno Dorian says hello! <laughs> yes. And of course, as for the accessories, you get a flintlock pistol, brown color, and you also get a sword. A pirate cutlass sword. Overall, an excellent figure. Alright, everybody, it is final judgment time! <laughs> for the aesthetics, I give this set an 8 out of 10. Overall, the aesthetics are decent. There's nothing, whoa, crazy, but there's also nothing, eh, that sucks. Playability, I get the playability a 10 out of 10. You have a cannon that can actually fire. <laughs> you can reload with a lot of ammunition. The figure is pretty playable. You have interchangeable accessories. You can take off the hood and replace it with the weave or the hairpiece, whatever you like to call it. And you also get a little terrain to actually store things and a barrel to place the wheel in. For the value, I give this set a 9 out of 10. Overall, you get decent value. You get your main attraction, you get your terrain, you also get a named figure. So by default, it makes it much, much, much more valuable. And last but not least, for the build, I give the build a 10 out of 10. Overall, an excellent build, especially in like a little tiny build. Like this, the cannon works very well, the playability all incorporated doesn't fall apart, the figure, excellent build, the terrain, simple, but it works, so yeah, there's nothing like, whoa, what else needs to be done here, the build is good. Plus, the build was overall a fun experience. And that brings us to the final score, which I give a 9.25 out of 10. This set earned an A. Well, my comrades, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big, fat Assassin's Creed flavored like. And as always, my comrades, if you want to see more content from me and Friendly Porcupine, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video, my comrades. Take care, everybody. Fire.
It came out of the baggie. Oh no, oh no. Ah, ah the thing got stuck. Well. Take care, everybody. Seriously, though, safety first. We shouldn't play around with this. Too much. Qua, qua, qua. Qua.